Where am I? This is not my room. The ceiling is higher than my apartment. I've never seen that painting on the wall. I looked around and saw my coworker sleeping in another bed. Ah, that's right. I mean Seoul, South Korea. We are on a company trip. Ten of us flew from Osaka, Japan to Seoul last night, and we all went out for a quick drink. <laughs> soju to sell. To soju, please. Do you know what soju is? S-O-J-U. It's a famous rice vodka in South Korea. We learned how to order two bottles of soju in Korean. Don't ask me why to. That's what they told us. <laughs> like little kids, we kept using the only phrase we knew. <laughs> we started drinking around 6 o'clock, and the last time when I checked my time was 10. The rest of the night was a blur. <laughs> what time did we get back? And how? Soon, my coworker woke up too. When she started walking to the bathroom, I noticed her limping. Hey, what happened to you? Did you fall? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? You are injured. Then I looked around the room again, trying to find some clues. Then I found two pills on the side table. Hey, where did the fruits come from? <laughs> did somebody give them to us? We didn't steal them, did we? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> then I went to the bathroom and looked myself in the mirror. Oh my goodness. My lips are bloody and swollen. Hey, did I fall with you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let's find somebody who knows. Where's my purse? My passport? I don't know. <laughs> we had no recollection whatsoever. We were fine ex except for the memory loss. But the second we hopped on the elevator, we both plopped down on the floor because the whole motion thing was too much for us. <laughs> then when we went to the hotel lobby, we saw our boss and the other coworkers. Our boss had a wrist injury. <laughs> yeah, he was one of us. <laughs> boss, what happened? Did you fall? Possibly with me? I might. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody remembered bits and pieces, but nobody had a complete memory. Uh, my purse was found at the restaurant. The restaurant owner told me that we all had so much fun and so many drinks. <laughs> Even without memory, I could tell you that. <laughs> Even today, I don't know what happened that night. You may think that's crazy about being drunk with your coworkers and especially with your boss. Maybe so in America, but not in Japan. There is a phrase, nomination in Japan. That's a combination of nomu, drinking in Japanese, and communication, meaning communicating while drinking together. <laughs> yeah, Japanese has a <laughs> phrase for that. Because Japanese need to loosen up because they are so square, you know. <laughs> Let me tell you how strict they are. If you want a driver's license, you need to take 60-hour lectures and practicals. If you are over 75 years old, you need to take memory and judgment tests regularly to prove that you are still capable of driving. If you want to buy a gun, you have to go through tests, test, uh, seminars, test applications, mental examinations, which involve your family, friends, and coworkers. It takes about four months to complete the process. Sounds familiar, Americans? <laughs> and no drug. If you possess even marijuana in Japan, 
you'll be treated like a serious criminal. Before I came to the United States, I didn't know any difference between drugs. I thought marijuana was cocaine. <laughs> I was surprised how harmless it was. Yeah, I've smoked before. <laughs> the only negative side effect that I had by smoking pot was Dane Cook was the most hilarious comedian on the planet. <laughs> But somehow, Japanese people are flexible about drinking. Nobody gets mad if you are drunk and sloppy. The word alcoholic is a compliment. <laughs> you are not forced to drink, but if you say you don't drink, you may see disappointment on people's faces. Drinking every day is not unusual. Drinking is a big part of Japanese culture. They make everything an excuse to drink. They drink when cherry blossoms bloom. They drink when they, get, they, when they get a full moon night. They drink when they get a new hire, somebody leaves or somebody dies. But Japan doesn't even make the top five Asian countries for alcohol consumption. I know, disappointing. <laughs> Korea is way up there. That soju was evil. <laughs> I'd never lost my memory like that. Where did my memory go? Is it really gone gone? Or is it somewhere in my brain and I just don't know how to get it? The injuries and fruits even didn't trigger my memory. It must require some stronger stimulation. After months of contemplation, I decided to conduct an experiment, find out what happens to my memory when I drink. So I invited my friends to my place and explained the objectives. <laughs> then we started drinking, rolling the camera. That's right. We are recording the evidence. <laughs> if the video cannot trigger my memory, nothing can. Many, many, many hours later, we passed out on the floor. <laughs> when we woke up in the morning, some empty snacks and cards and many bottles are scattered around us. We exchanged what we remembered and what we didn't. But nobody remembered playing the card game. So we started watching the video. It was fascinating to watch how drunk we were. <laughs> Even counting cards seemed an impossible task for us. Then there I was holding cards proudly. Call, call me Dr. Genius. Your Dr. Genius will cut, count cards fire. One. Where am I? <laughs> One. Too many cars are too many. I tossed them out on the floor, and the camera battery died a little after that. <laughs> While I was watching the video, my brain kept clicking. Yeah, I was right. I remember that. Yeah, I was Dr. Genius. I remember that too. My brain was able to retrieve the forgotten memory. It was a thrilling experiment. I was completely happy with my experiment result until I saw a study conducted by Caltech. According to their study, memory recall is more like reconstruction rather than retrieval. When we see something, each information is processed on a conveyor belt in our brain. If the memory thinks, if the brain thinks that memory is mismatched, memory is adjusted retroactively. So even if we see the same thing at the same time, my reality may be different from yours depending on how we perceive the information. Now I wonder, did my brain recover the memory? Or did he make up a new one? I guess I need another experiment. <laughs> there are so many reasons to drink, you know. 
When I came to America in 2004, I told everybody that I drink every day. But people's reactions were different here. <laughs> I saw concerns on people's faces. Sometimes they suggested seeing a counselor. At first, I thought they were joking, but they were seriously concerned. So I thought, there must be something I don't know about drinking every day. So I went to see a counselor. I picked one who spoke Japanese. She happened to be a native Japanese in Orange County. After making some small talk and telling her why I was there, she asked me why I drink. Why? Because I can. I can afford to drink for health and financial reasons. I don't drink when I'm sick. I don't drink when I don't make money. Are there any reasons that I can't drink when I can? I don't think so. Then she asked me how much I drink. Well, if I have time, I can drink a bottle of wine easily. I thought she would analyze my answers, ask more questions, and tell me I have issues. But instead, she smiled. Mio-san, that's normal. Then she started bragging to me how much she can drink. <laughs> and she drink much more than I do because she's Japanese. <laughs> Thank you. Give it up for Mio Yamauchi.